All right. First order of business is I need to find myself a, a font that I'm going to use for this. So, um, you know, there's tons and tons of websites now offering you free fonts. I think it's like fontfamily.com and thefonts.com. And it's all great, but I started to realize that most of these sites just kind of reuse. It's, most of them don't have their own unique set of fonts. They're actually reusing uh, fonts that are openly available anyway. So uh, the best place I found to found fonts, go figure, is Google. So I'm going to do free fonts, uh, space invaders. Let me go right to it. it. Depending, you know, space invaders would be a good search query or, uh, you know, I mean, if you're doing Donkey Kong or Skate or Die or some, you know, more, not as popular video game, you may just want to do classic uh, classic arcade or some search query like that um, <clears throat> anyway the first uh, my first hit on that query I found this guy can't you know look at this nothing more appropriate than that I mean the first one whoops let me bring that back up the first one are just a couple of glyphs that uh, it seems to have but the second one actually has uh, like a whole alphabet. And interestingly enough, look at this. When you hover over them, this says commercial use friendly. Doesn't mean free, so we got to read the details of that. And this says personal use only. Um, let me click on this and uh, let, let's see what this actually says. Licensed, freeware, non commercial. Uh, an important thing to consider is that the fonts you use are you could use them for what you intend to use them for. Uh, mine is just, I'm just going to look over here. It says personal use. And it should give you an idea of um, what you could use it for. And what, um, probably more importantly, look at these X's and what you can't use it for. Uh, uh, now, we're using this for educational use, right? So this falls under personal use. If you're planning to do this for a client or something like that, you know, uh, to to send this out for a professional project, you know, don't do your your clients the quote unquote favor of putting some cool font on here that that they may not be that may not be legal to use for their commercial purposes, you know. So so pay attention to that because helping your client out by giving them stolen stuff is generally not helpful, especially not if they ever get audited and get caught for it. And then, well, they could get in big trouble, and I'll tell you, you probably won't be getting a good reference. So uh, I'm going to do just that. So I found the font I want. I kind of looked at the license, and I know that I could use it for, for personal use. That's cool. And so let me just download it, and hopefully it gives me a true type font. Um, true type fonts are the TTFs. These are the ones that um, most online engines and font squirrels specifically, that's what we're going to use in order to uh, uh, convert these to all the different formats we need. That's the uh, font format you're going to find most often that the converters uh, want to get to convert to. You may find some open type fonts, but pretty sure open type is Adobe proprietary, so there may not be engines available. Just to give you an idea of what you're looking for. Oh, look at this. Actually, here's some OTF. Um, well, maybe Font Squirrel does allow you to do OTF. Whatever. You could play around and figure that out. Just know that if you're having problems uploading it, it may be your font format. So TTF is probably the most universally accepted. Um, here we go. Looks good. So I got a GIF of kind of uh, giving me an idea of what the font's going to look like. I like it. Here's the actual font file that has all the data, the TTF. And there's a README file, uh, important to use. Here it has the legal mumbo jumbo you need to make yourself familiar with. And README.txt, there you go, has a little bit more of it. Very good. Um, so off to Font Squirrel we go. And let's see, here we go. If you get to Font Squirrel's main page, the link that you're looking for is at Font Face Generator. And once you click that, you should see a button right here, this Font Kit, uh, at Font Face Kit Generator. And you have three different options, Basic, Optimal, and Expert. Expert actually reveals all the different options of stuff. Um, you could set what kind of font formats you want. Actually, I'm going to 
pop SVG in there too. Um, <clears throat> anyway, click on expert. Go. I mean, it seems like everything when I looked over it looks good, uh, short of SVG. And if we go back to um, CSS tricks, we see that SVG. It says legacy iOS. We're talking about like first gen, second maybe not even, but uh, for sure first gen iPhones, iPads, that kind of thing, maybe second gen, I'm not sure if those are considered legacy. I think actually they accept true type, but whatever. We'll add the SVG font in there as well. Um, and that's it. All this other stuff, well, I gotta be honest with you, a lot of this other stuff, I don't even know what it means, but um, you know, if you're interested, guess what? I'm sure you Google it, It'll you'll have more info than you <laughs> than you were looking for if you're interested. So, uh, in short, click Export, click SVG right underneath it, and then you go to Add Font and navigate to where your font's at. Here's my TTF. Choose this guy. I'm going to open it. And, yes, my font is legally eligible for web embedding. So, let me download my kit. All right. And here, if you're curious to see, here it is. It's happening, it's at 75%, and gimme, gimme, gimme my font. Here we go. All right, I'll download this. So let's see what we get from here now. Here's what Font Squirrel provided me with. And let's look in here. Actually, I, I could delete the actual font that I downloaded because I should have a copy of all that right down here. Cool, look at this. So this gave it to me in all the, the different formats that I'm looking for. Um, what am I looking for? ETO, I have it, SVG, I have the other uh, TTF, the WOOF, which is the, the web um, font, and yeah, I have some CSS over here. I'm not even sure what this is telling me. but And I have, what is this, the demo, which is probably the most useful. Let's go and pop the demo in here. And this is going to show us straight up how to use it, right? Um, let me make sure that this is not an image. Okay, look at that. These are actual fonts. And here's what it looks like. You see, what I was saying about uh, legibility is that I don't want my paragraph text to be set up in this font. This is barely legible. I mean, it's cool for my header like this. It gets the point across. It's going to say Space Invaders, but uh, yeah. Anyway... It says installing web fonts. And, uh, you know, often I don't even look at people's documentation. I just, you know, the proof is in the pudding, kind of the way I see it. And I look at how people defined it. Um, but in this case, actually, uh, Font Squirrel does a pretty good job of telling you what you need to do. So uh, let's look. First order of business, it says upload your web fonts. So let's pop our web fonts into. Um, our project folder. Now there seems to be a lot of fonts going on here so uh, let me I'm just gonna create a new folder called fonts and in there I'm gonna pop all these fonts in which is gonna effectively kill my demo page but whatever. So I'm gonna take those four different formats because all these other, you know, you got text, CSS, HTML, they don't need to go in my folder. I'm going to pop them in this fonts folder that I have. You don't have to put them in fonts. I just did it to kind of keep things a little cleaner. Um, okay, step two. Include the uh, include the web font style sheet. Uh, well, I'm... I don't know what, what, what they're asking me to do here. But essentially, I'm just going to copy and paste this code right here into my CSS document. But uh, I wonder, I, I'm going to call it something different then. See, because this just says uh, my web font. And it says web font and whatever my the name of it is. But this says CA web. F okay, no, no, this, this is fine. Uh, I'm just looking here. What I'm talking about, it says uh, it's ca-web font. So this just says web font.svg, but this is a link for it. So careful with what you're doing over here because you may mess it up. And maybe now with that in mind, let me look at that um, 
that CSS style sheet that I have to make sure I'm not making any mistakes over here. Okay. Well, the style sheet actually, it says include it, but I, I don't necessarily want to include a separate CSS file just to get this code. And even better, this actually has the right naming for it in, that, in the file I downloaded. So even better, I have, it's going to, when I want to use this font for certain elements, I got to go Cosmic Alien Regular. And it already says the URL to be CA Web Font. But this isn't totally accurate, at least not the URL part, because I put mine in a in a fonts fonts or font folder. Let me double check. Um, fonts with a with a with an S. So I'm going to put in fonts forward. Here we go. Let me copy that, and I'll pop that in there. And now I'm ready to take this code and copy it right in my main.css so um, you know let's see I gotta start cleaning stuff up so it doesn't get insanely messy and I'll go type graphy there we go at font face that's calling in the font and type graphy I'm not I don't spell so good clearly um, and this guy, actually, maybe I'll put my layout right underneath it. Sorry, don't mean to tangent over here, but I want to start keeping things clean because my code is getting bigger. Um, and I put my H1 over here. All right. So uh, essentially, all I did was move around some of my CSS, but I popped in the at font face. I made sure the source was good. And now for my H1, guess what I need to do? I just need to add app, this app font family right there to it. And now, so, okay, my fonts are there. Actually, I think I'm ready to go. Let me see. I'm just going to refresh my browser, and Space Invaders should go from this font to dun, dun, dun. Very cool. I like it. Um, the only issue now is that this is uh, on two uh, in two spaces or in two lines over here rather than one. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. As I work with it more, I don't know if I want to keep it still to that one line because that's going to make this this uh, actual header a bit smaller than I want it to be, or I'm going to leave it this way. But so far, it's cool. And of course, since I want to do apply this to my small element as well, let me eh, let me just add small right here. Now, when I go down, this text right down here should go from that to bam. This site was created for educational use only. Very nice, very nice. Um, and that's all it takes to implement your own uh, font using at font face with font squirrel, you know, helping you convert it all and uh, giving you the nice code just to copy and paste into your page.